Hey everyone. Okay, this is a test right now. Um, I wanted to see something and try something out. So um, if you are just joining, then say hello in the chat. Um, I want to test something out with YouTube. So say hi guys. Tonight we'll listen to some Elvis. Hey David, thanks for coming back. <laughs> Having a little bit of delay here. Okay. Mm. See, this is so strange. It just back pop, uh, pop back over to the other live and people were saying that they're not getting any notifications. So it's so weird. I don't know why YouTube is doing that and not notifying you guys that I'm live. I know that's so strange, Michael. And um, I don't know why. I don't know why it's happening. I was testing it out. I was seeing if maybe it was because I was on the third party platform on StreamYard. Um, but that's not it. Maybe it's because I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why YouTube is being weird like that. Well, if that's the case, then we'll just stay live for a little bit and chat a little while. And then, um, you know, I'll just start popping on live more throughout the week just for like short chats. And then, um, you know, see if it starts building up again and if it starts notifying you guys again. But I'm not going to do a whole reaction stream if it's not giving anyone the notifications because then it's like a waste um, and, you know, nobody even sees the reactions. And lately they haven't been posting um, as visibly to the channel after I've been noticing. So um, I'm going to write that down, but we may be postponing, David. Unfortunately, let's see how this goes because – it's just being so weird. Okay. Or we can just listen to that one and then see who joins and see if the notification pops up. So aggravating. It's so aggravating. YouTube seems to be like glitching with that, which is like super annoying. But if you're here, then click the like button. Um, maybe that'll help it go out to more people. I don't know. It's so odd. It's so odd. But I'll just tell you a little bit about my week. Um, I don't know. The weather here in New York has been super strange. Um, like it's just... It's just um, like today was really warm. Yesterday it was really chilly and wet and cold and nasty yesterday. Today it's like humid and gross outside. Um, and it's just been like ah, really weird. Um, some things that I'm excited about is uh, that – Kelly Clarkson has a new album coming out and next week the first single is coming out and I'm very excited for that. I cannot wait. Um, if I have any Kelly Clarkson fans, then um, I will definitely um, be reacting to some of her new stuff because it's like my favorite. She's my favorite oh, female artist. She's my fave. Um, so I can't wait. 
Um, oh, Gigi's here. Hi, Gigi. So, um, hey, Shaq. Yeah, it is definitely getting to be mosquito weather. We're not quite there at mosquito weather yet here in New York, um, but today is definitely like the kind of weather. Um, but it's going to drop back down again. It's not going to stay like this. It's going to go, going to get cold again and then maybe get warm again. So, I don't know. The weather doesn't know what it wants to do. So, we're going to see. The baby is still rocking to Jailhouse Rock. He's actually the cutest thing. He uh, asks for Elvis. Um, he loves to watch him. He says Elvis. He knows um, exactly who he is. It's so adorable. I love it. Um, this weekend, I have to do my 12-mile run. It's my last long run before the half marathon. So, um, it's not my last long run because nine miles is still long in my book, but it's my, um, longest run before the half marathon. So I've got this week of 12, the next two weeks I've got nines. And then the following week is the half. So I'll be doing the 13.1. I'm really excited. So we can just chat a little bit tonight, um, and then, like I said, something is going on with YouTube, and YouTube is not, like, pushing the notifications out, which is super annoying. So if you've just joined us, make sure to say hi in the chat, um, like the video, so that maybe that helps it. I don't know. Um, but I think that until YouTube, like, gets its act together and I start seeing that, like, the notifications are actually going out to people – we will just like hang and chat for um, a little while on the streams um, and then we will um... – <laughs> yes, James, you will definitely be hearing, um, you know, MJ say some funny stuff, especially when we're like live in the action on a holiday. She's always like, you know – Bossing me around. Tell me what to do. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Too funny. Yes, I hope everybody is going to enjoy their holiday weekend. If you celebrate, um, happy Passover to anybody that's celebrating Passover. Passover is today. Um, if you're celebrating Passover, you're probably not on a live stream. You're probably um, at a Seder enjoying yourself and enjoying your holiday uh, as you should be. And um, if you celebrate Easter, you're probably getting ready to build the um, – oh, <laughs> uh, that's so cute. She thinks I'm on uh, FaceTime. Hi, Chasey. Hi, Chasey. Oh, he's so cute. Um, Andy, you know, that's part of the um, issue here is that – people are not getting the notifications. And so it's like a little bit um, upsetting. And I want to, um, you know, see if maybe I start going live like throughout the week for little periods of time. Um, if maybe the viewership and the notifications start getting pushed out. Um, I don't know if that will happen. Um, but, you know, I'm not going to do like the whole live reaction thing. I also tested something out where um, I typically stream from StreamYard so that I can share my screen. And I was like, maybe it's not pushing the notification because I'm streaming from a third party platform. So I stopped the live stream and I joined straight directly from YouTube and um, same thing. So I think we're just going to hang for a little bit tonight, chat for a little bit tonight. Um, you guys can give me some suggestions because I am going to be filming um, a bunch of videos for next week. So I will just take your, some of your requests tonight and write them down and then get to them throughout the week. And that's just how we can like hang for a little bit tonight. And then uh, I'll stop in again tomorrow. Like I'll stop in at random points throughout the day too. Maybe like it doesn't always have to be like, um, you know, a planned thing and just see if that maybe helps boost the viewership. Cause I don't know why, um, they wouldn't send the notification out just because I'm like posting more videos in a day. That doesn't seem fair. So I don't know. Maybe they're just not pushing lives as much right now. Weird. Algorithms are so strange. 
Hi, Robert. I'm happy that you enjoyed the week of music. That makes me happy. So I was saying earlier that um, typically, you know, I look at the views on the videos and I say to myself, okay, this artist is performing really well. So that must mean that they're really enjoying these videos. So I'll do more of this artist. Um, uh, but I also want to, um, I also want you guys to, um, you know, show to tell me tonight, like which, um, video, which videos and which artists you prefer. And then, uh, Gigi, any chance we'll get to meet Steve on Sunday? Yes, you can definitely meet Steve on Sunday. Um, it'll be fun. Oh, interesting, Andy. That's so strange. I know they keep everything so secretive. I feel like all of social media, they try to stay so secretive about how to like crack their algorithm codes. And it's like, ugh, maybe we would all enjoy using it better if we didn't have to guess so much. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know though. I would think like, you know, like Instagram, it gets so disheartening to even post on Instagram because you're like, nobody sees my posts anymore. You know, I don't see my friends post anymore. Like, it's crazy. I hate that. So, and sometimes there'll be like somebody that I follow and I consistently watch their stories and stuff. And then all of a sudden their stories um, totally disappear. And then I'm like, wait a second, what happened to this person? Have they not been posting? And then I go to their page and I'm like, oh my God, they've been posting so much and I just haven't gotten any notifications for it. So I think that's so crazy. Um, okay. Let me see. The Rose by The Rose. And this is Andre Rue. Andre Rue. Very good. And it's a live performance. You guys know I love live performances all week this week you guys tell me if you guys have been feeling the same way I don't know if it's just me I'm crazy but actually um my friend was saying it too we have felt like it's been a day ahead all week long like Wednesday I was thinking it's Thursday Tuesday I was thinking it's Wednesday today I was thinking it's Friday all week long, I've been ahead of myself. And I'm like, oh, why does it feel like it's not Thursday? Why does it feel like it's not Wednesday? Like all week long, it's been so frustrating. You too, Gigi. I didn't know that you were feeling that way too. It has been so crazy. I'm like, why do I feel like I'm a day ahead of myself? Like it literally feels like it should be Friday right now. Um. I don't know why. I really don't know why. And I'm like, oh, one more weekday, one more weekday. <laughs> and then it's the weekend. Um, oh, I'm so happy that you had a good time on your Flower Power Cruise. Oh, I got to check them out. Oh, so cool. I know, Steve. So funny. I know. March flew by. So far, the year has flown by, honestly, January, February, and March have all flown by. I'm like, April, what? And April is like just starting, but there's every weekend is so busy that it's like, it's going to be like that. It's going to be over. I'm already like heavy into thinking that it's, um, you know, heavy into thinking that it, like we're already in May. It's crazy. I'm like, wait, are we in April? Are we in May? Because <laughs> it already feels like we're in May. Um. Elvis tribute. Elvis tribute. Um, Ben Portsmouth. Sure. Singing on chain melody. Great. One of these weekends, I have to um set up a studio session. I got to record some more things for you guys. And, um, I have to also film a video for you that I'm really excited about. I'm really, really excited for it. So we've got a lot coming up. Oh, that's a good idea. Um, to play Elvis trivia on the live stream. That is a very good idea. 
I like that. Cool. Very good. I would love that. I would love to do that. That sounds great. So, what are everybody's weekend plans? Let's just... Yeah, I love that idea, Skylar. I wrote it on my notebook so that I remember for next time. I could also do, like, trivia throughout the week on my Instagram stories. Like, whatever you guys think is fun, I could totally do that. I think that would be fun. Oh, cool. <laughs> yes, James, I saw that. Mm, sorry, my Yankees won. <laughs> An Elvis podcast. That's a cool idea. Elvis introducing Fats Domino. That's a different one. Is Chase still there? And then he sings Blueberry Hill. Great. Cool. Is he an impersonator or he just distributes? Ben Portsmouth. Curious to know. Well, my favorite thing about Elvis is his voice. Um, and, you know, I think his voice is just, uh, you know, completely gripping. And um, it's the talent in his voice is just unbelievable. He's just awesome. Um, and then that is, you know, the first thing. And then his charisma. Um, you know, you could be very handsome and have no personality and have no charisma about you. Or you could be, um, you know, and you could be the opposite. You could be like not good looking and have crazy charisma. Elvis happens to be both. He happens to be extremely good looking and have amazing charisma. So um, he's just magnetic to watch. And um, and I grew up just like Chase is now growing up listening to Elvis. Um, he's actually watching the videos, which is even better. But I would hear a lot of um, Elvis on the radio. My dad is a huge Elvis fan. And so uh, I would, you know, hear a lot of, you know, the popular tunes and things like that. The thing is that there's so many songs in Elvis's catalog that you can really, um, you know, keep discovering so much. And I love that about him too, is that he really, um, you know, he could sing anything and make it good, even if it wasn't, like, the best written song. And that's, like, the mark of a true, amazing artist. And I also think that, um, you know, that's a lot of the times why I'm drawn to artists. Like, uh, I was just talking before about how Kelly Clarkson is my favorite female artist. And she does a segment on her talk show called Kelly Oki. And she covers all different artists, all different genres. And um, she does it so incredibly that you actually, for a second, you get confused and you think these songs are hers. Um, hi, Steven. How are you? Hi, Chris. How are you? Glad that you guys joined. Um, make sure that you click like and make sure that you um, say hi in the chat. Let me know that you're here. Um, Michael, oh, so nice. You're going to dye eggs, go to church, visit your family and have some Reese's peanut butter eggs. That sounds perfect. I'm eating healthy right now. So I'm going to try to avoid the candy, but like, why do I always go on like these health journeys? Like at, I guess it doesn't matter. There's always going to be something like, it just feels like I'm always on like a health journey, a health kick when there's like a fun holiday going on. So like Halloween, I wasn't eating candy this year. Um, I did enjoy Valentine's Day candy. I absolutely did. Uh, but like today we had um, a big bowl of, well, there's always a big bowl of candy um, behind me at work, but it was just refilled with like Reese's peanut butter eggs and Reese's pieces and just little chocolate eggs. And sometimes I just love a little mi milk chocolate egg, like a little Hershey's egg. Oh, they're so good. Uh, but I resisted. I didn't have any because like I said, I'm being healthy. I'm being good. 
So Easter is such a fun time to eat sweets. When I was little, we used to get um, two Easter baskets each. We would get one basket with like fun stuff. Um, we would get, um, we would get, um, like summer clothes and, um, you know, swimsuits and sandals and makeup, like magazines, cute stuff like that. And then, um, and then we would get a second basket, a smaller one, but it would be filled with, um, chocolates and candies. Like my mom didn't mix the two things. She always gave us two baskets each. Uh, um, she always goes big on the holidays. The female version. Okay. Now I'm very curious. So I have to look up. I mean, maybe I should know this. Hold on. Hold on. What does that mean? Um, oh, you have no Easter candy in the house. I know it's horrible. Oh, it means I never age. Thank you. <laughs> um, Chris, I'm actually just doing a chat tonight. Um, because YouTube is not sending out the notification. So I switched platforms. I went from StreamYard where I can share my screen to YouTube to see if that helped people get the notification. Um, just to try to solve it and figure it out. And so now we're just going to do a little chat and then I'll go live another day and we will um, chat some more. We'll chat more. We'll do reactions, all that good stuff. Um, thank you, Jonathan. That was so sweet of you. Um, good, Dusty, that you didn't skip your workout today. I'm proud of you. Keep going. You always got to push. It's those days that you don't want to do it that it's the most important to do it. That's like the number one rule, I think. Um, you're going to feel so much better after. So it's like you just have to keep that feeling in mind and just be like, okay, I got this. And just think about how it's going to feel on the other side of the workout. How good you're going to feel. Hold on one second. Hello? Mm, probably cream. Mm. If you see any of the cellophane wrap, could you grab me some? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I need. I'll see. I don't remember if I ordered them. I'll check. But I got to go. I'm live. Got to go. Love you. Bye. Um, That was mom. Oh, if you have extra, that would be good. I don't remember if I placed the order today. Let me check. You know, you put something in your Amazon cart and you go to order it and then you like leave it sitting there. Okay. Looks like I... Let me see. Oh, okay. I did order it. So I should be good with that. But now I got to see when this is going to come. Let's see. So I didn't have to order it is what you're telling me. Saturday. Okay, these will come Saturday. Good. Yes. So um, I'll be with the family for Easter, um, which will be... You know, it's always fun. So um, mom will be cooking on Sunday. We'll have a really nice, you know, Easter dinner. Um, and uh, we'll probably go up on Saturday and um, bring Chasey to see the Easter bunny. So I'll share all of it. Yes, I got the bags. I already ordered them. And they're going to mom's. So that I know that I'll have them. <laughs> Yes, James, there is. I thought about this on Saturday on my run. I ran past the um, 
post office that I'm going to go to. So I will go on Saturday um, and hopefully get that squared away. Um, as long as they don't give me any problems like the other place did. That's the only thing. <clears throat> oh, hey, Robert. I hope that you enjoyed the Elvis reactions from today. Oh, cute. Yes. What else does what else does mom make for Easter? I can't remember. We do spadinis. We did them last year. Um that's something that my grandma always did. I think my mom is going to do, I think she said something about potato cats this year. Those are delicious and yummy. Um, what else does she do? She does ham and uh, what else? Does she do another meat on Easter? I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, did you hear Charlie? <laughs> He's going cuckoo. Sometimes he hears like... Um, he hears like the doors outside opening and closing and he gets all cuckoo or he hears another dog or something. He goes crazy. Um, family is all good. Um, mom and dad came here on Monday and they literally, when I tell you, stocked the fridge. I mean, they stocked the fridge. It was so awesome. I should have you know, I missed so many opportunities to post and share things with you guys because sometimes I just don't think fast enough. Um, but I should have showed you guys. There's still, like, my fridge is still stocked because um, there's just literally that much. Like, I've been using and eating all the delicious things that they brought. Um, and I still haven't, like, gone through all of it. So, um, so they brought like ribeye steak, skirt steak, um, this huge salad. If anybody's familiar with Stu Leonard's, they went to Stu Leonard's and they got me so many delicious, yummy foods and, um, the meat they got at this place called tops. And it was so good. Um, they got me like berries and greens and, um, zucchini and squash noodles and, uh, just like all, the best stuff. And she's like, I wanted to get you sweets too and fun things, but you're being healthy. So I couldn't. Um, so, but like literally the fridge is full. She got me like, uh, the liquid egg whites that I like to make and asparagus and, um, a lot of berries just like so good. So guys, I'll get better about sharing things like that. So those are fun moments to like, you know, you guys like that. Um, I think you guys like that stuff. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Oh, that's cute. Why was the Easter egg afraid of the Easter bunny? He was a little chicken. That's a cute one. My favorite nursery rhyme, um, Little Miss Muffet, I think. <laughs> Hi, Kirstie. How are you? Sure. Aurora's song, Runaway. Got it. Aurora, Runaway. Cool. I've been really catching up on your Patreon requests, so I hope you guys um, have been enjoying them. And, uh, who loves the new posting strategy of three songs a day? Who is loving it? Oh, cool. Elvis, Animal Instinct. Animal Instinct. Awesome, Kirsty. So, Kirsty, I had to switch platforms today, and I couldn't stream from StreamYard. I'm streaming directly from um, YouTube. So tonight we're not doing, um, we're not doing reactions. We're just chatting and you guys are giving me some suggestions. So, uh, Dixieland rock. Cool. Is that from King Creole? Sounds good. If this isn't love. Good one. 
Oh, this little piggy went to the market. <laughs> of course I know that one. That's a good one too. I actually probably say that one way more than I ever say Miss Muffet. I don't know why I said Miss Muffet. <laughs> Kate Bush, Hounds of Love, okay. Hounds of Love, 1986. And you said that's got a blue background. And Linda Ronstadt, Hurt So Bad. Great. This is great, guys. Heard so bad. Uh, live studio. Cool. Awesome. Oh, Elvis. Ring around your neck. And in my way, I'm loving the suggestions, guys. This is awesome. Keeping a list. Tria Landon. Lost right now. Cool. Awesome. Hmm. Oh, cool. Thank you, Christy. I'm falling in love tonight. From it all happened at the World's Fair. Oh, cool. Uh, any new, um, any new home free songs I should react to? Johnny Cash, Wholesome Prison Blues. Um, Avicii. Not so much. Um, I, you know, wasn't really into like electronic music as much. Um, but when I listen to it, I can definitely appreciate it. But um, wasn't always like my go-to thing. Danzig Sisters. Okay. Hello, Daddy. Uh, Kirsty, I think I did that one already, so I just have to double check. I feel like the title is very familiar. Um, I definitely did. It hurts me already, so just browse the channel, and you'll definitely find that one. Um, yeah, this is good. Run away. I don't know. Who is run away by that sounds like a song title that can definitely be um, pretty common. Okay. That's okay. It was probably a while ago. Um, so. Yes. Definitely, like Andy said, change your chat setting from top chat to live chat so that you're up to um, date in the chat and you're not like lagging behind. Um, okay. 
<laughs> James, enjoy your night. I will see you before Sunday, but enjoy your night. <laughs> okay, let me see. Let me see. Writing this down. Uh, better days. And sometimes I write and then I can't read my writing because I'm writing too fast. Elvis, it's called Almost. And it's from The Trouble with Girls. Okay. Cool. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, so, Kirsty, I'm going to be, um, we had, like, a slow start here. So I'm just trying to, like, figure out um, the algorithm and what's going on with the stream. So because I was testing it out, um, I switched platforms, so I can't actually do it tonight. Um, but I'm going to start going live just for like little bits of time during the weekend. Um, not necessarily like taking, re uh, requests, but just like chatting and just being like, Hey guys, I'm doing X, Y, and Z right now. And this is what I'm doing. So blah, 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 blah. Talking to you for a few minutes. I want to see if I can like tap into YouTube, um, sending out notifications for the lives again so that we get, um, a bigger turnouts like we used to. And then um, we'll get back to the reaction. So I'm like hoping that by next Thursday I can like figure that out some and we'll do the the um, the big Elvis live stream. But it didn't make sense to do it today because it was just like, you know, lower attendance. So um, because nobody's getting the notifications and everybody was like joining and saying, I didn't even know that you were, li you were live. So, um, you know, I'm just trying to like figure that out. Okay. Tim Faust. No, I haven't. Um, so, uh, Tim Faust solo songs. I'll, um, definitely look it up. Concrete Blonde, Caroline. Sure. Great. Exactly. See, Bill didn't get the notification. Chris didn't get the notification. Like, a bunch of you didn't get the notification. A lot of you joined later on. Like, attendance is good now, but it could be better. Um, it used to always be better because more people got the notification. So, um, you know, I just want everybody to be able to be part of it and not miss it because I've also noticed that it doesn't pump out the live stream um, in the algorithm as much, like, after it's live. So, it doesn't, like, pop up for everybody. So, um, that's why we're waiting on that. And I'm going to like, see if I can figure it out this week. What's going on. Algorithms are annoying. I have to say, and there's been so much drama too. Like, I don't know if anybody's on TikTok, but everybody is like upset because with TikTok, um, a lot of people that used to get like a lot, a lot of views, they're not getting as many anymore because TikTok is not pushing their content out. And it's just, like, all so frustrating. I'm, like, just crazy. Yes. You definitely have to make sure that um, – then that's a good point, um, R.A.M., that you have to make sure that you have the notifications turned on. You got to click that little bell on my channel um, so that you get alerted. Um, but I think that a lot of you are doing that and still like you usually get the notifications or you got notifications for my videos earlier and you're not getting them now. Like actually personally on my own channel, like I don't even know how, or if I do have, um, notifications on for myself, but I've noticed that I get, um, like something will pop up on my screen that it'll say like, uh, react, like it'll be the title of my reaction video but it comes up like three hours later. So I don't know why that is. Um, just always make sure that you're liking the videos because then it'll definitely let you know, um, you know, 
even if you have your notifications on, always make sure that you like the videos because I think that that just like boosts it to alert you sooner. That's what I think. Um, okay. Meatloaf, fat out of hell. These are great, um, requests. Like I'm getting a lot of different artists that I haven't reacted to either in a long time. Um, wow, Christy, I'm sorry, but you'll have, um, advanced notice of the next one. I'll make sure that, you know, and hopefully it'll fall on a day that, um, you know, you're working so that you can stay awake. If not, we'll just have to like give you lots of coffee. <laughs> I'll drink coffee during it and you'll drink coffee during it. And then we'll be wired and caffeinated and not able to sleep. <laughs> Mike and the mechanics. Cool. In the living years. Cool. I've done that one. I've done Green Green Grass of Home. I know I've done that title, Dusty. So definitely search my channel. You can just literally write in like Danny Atkinson, Green Green Grass of Home. Oh, I'm so glad that I'm part of it. Engelbert Humperdick. Okay, I've never reacted to Engelbert Humperdick. I always just thought his name was so funny. But I know. Engelbert Humperdick. I will do it. <laughs> Got it, guys. I have it. Um, Bobby Gentry. Okay. This is good. Ode to Billy Joe. And <laughs> it is. Fleetwood Mac, Dreams Live. Great song. Great. <laughs> awesome, guys. Well, thank you all for hanging out tonight and um, trying to solve this whole okay one more day diamond rio okay and okay suzy quattro and James, who was it? James, oh, Chris Norman. Chris Norman. Yes, I did do um, Helen Ready, I Am Woman. I did react to that. Roy Orbison crying. Crying. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. Hello, all the way in Kentucky. So you guys want more James Brown. Early stuff, you said. Early songs and film. Got it. All right, guys. Oh, Kelly Clarkson. You don't have to ask me twice. I surrender on American Idol. Cool. All right, everybody. <laughs> yes, definitely heard Charlie. 
He likes to make his presence known for sure when I'm live and sometimes in the videos too. <laughs> I could definitely react to some uh, Lana Del Rey for sure. I'm happy that you guys are enjoying the show. Um, you know, I'm sorry that we're not doing live reactions, but sometimes it's fun to just chat too and just like get to know each other better and um and just, uh, you know, hang out a little bit. So thank you guys so much for wishing me and the family a happy Easter. I want to wish all of you a happy Easter or a happy Passover. Um, uh, whatever you may be celebrating. Maybe you're celebrating Ramadan. Um, so uh, whatever it is that you're celebrating, I hope that you are, um, you know, doing well and enjoying. And... Um, I am going to be signing off for now and I'm going to like hop in over the week and say hello to you guys and um, see if we can figure out this whole algorithm. Um, I like having just a chat. We get to know each other a little bit better. I've got some great um, reactions here that I'm going to be getting to. Look at this. Look at this list. That's priceless to me. Um, so I love you guys so much and I will see you guys soon. Definitely make sure that you're following along with me on Instagram also because I'll be posting a lot of fam content and all that over the weekend uh, for the holiday. And I love you guys. Mwah!